All right, so just walking in the front door of the condo here. We'll go through everything room by room and take a look at what's going on, but let's just see what we got here as far as a view right out the bat. Ocean front, two bedroom condo, right on the ocean. No boardwalk here, but that's all right. Look over the balcony here. We got some pool area. Looks like that's a beach bar or something. We'll check that out a little bit later. Two pools looks like a little kid pool, hot tub, and whatnot. All right, let's go inside and meet the fellows who are going to be joining me for the week. We just got all unpacked and all ready to go for the week. All of our groceries and everything loaded up. So right here we got on the couch, we got Matt on the left. We got Jimmy on the right. These will be my playing compadres for the week. Hopefully if all goes well, I beat both of them. You'll beat nothing. Chances of that happening are slim. All right, so let's go back to the front door. And we'll take a look at the uh, at the room here, room by room. All right, so first impression of 609 at Camelot. Walk in right away and it's beautiful. It's everything the picture said it would be. Beautiful flooring, beautiful paint. The kitchen is immaculate. We'll get to that. It's fantastic. We're very happy with it so far. As soon as you come in on the right here, there's a, a single bedroom with two beds, two queen beds. Plenty of room for me and Jim are going to be uh, shacking up in here for the week. Uh, there's a TV, plenty of the amenities in here. Just your standard room, just enough for us to, you know, get some sleep in between rounds and in between the things we're going to get into for the week. You come down over right across the hall from our room, we got this sweet bathroom. So this does not look like your typical hotel bathroom, right? It's fantastic. Marble countertops, very clean. Uh, all the amenities you would need for everything, brand new faucet and everything, it's, it's fantastic. The, the shower looks great, plenty of storage and shelves in the shower area there for uh, two people that are sharing the bedroom across the hall's shower needs. We'll come down the hall here, and probably my most exciting part about the whole place is the kitchen. This kitchen is fantastic. All of the countertops are marble, all of the cabinets are brand new and white, all stainless steel appliances. Uh, you got the refrigerator, you got the refrigerator here, you got all of your essential appliances. The crock pot does not come with the unit. This is ours, we bring to make some meals while we're golfing. Um, fantastic range, microwave, uh, coffee pot, cutlery, everything that you need is here. In fact, there's more here than has ever been in any other condo we've stayed in Myrtle Beach. Of course, you're going to have your supply of this for the week. Come over to just a nice little dining area here. I mean, you can see the walls are painted wonderfully. The art is very nice. All the, the decorations and decor is really, really on point. Um, right across from the dining area, you have a really, really simple but useful washer and dryer stackable unit. It's going to come in handy. We're going to wash clothes probably uh, once or twice while we're here. It's going to make it really nice. Over here where Jim's sitting, pull-out couch, nice little chair here. It's, it's nice just to hang out after a day of golfing, after eating dinner, before going out for the night. It has a nice TV. I don't know what size it is, but it's going to work out just fine. The flooring in this place is really, really nice. It looks like uh, brand new, newly installed, very nice looking. I'm sure we'll probably spill some stuff on it by the end of the week, but we will definitely clean it up. When you come into here, this is the second bedroom of the condo. This is the master. This is where Matt's spending the week. He's got a nice king-size bed. You come into the, into the room a little bit more. 
you see that he's got a view of the ocean right there with the windows, drapes to make it nice and, and dark and quiet in here whenever he's sleeping. If you pan around the room like he's doing perfectly, you got a nice TV. Giant dresser. In fact, me and Jim might end up using a little bit of this if we have to. I know Matt didn't pack enough stuff to, to cover that. Uh, he's got a closet just like all the other rooms. If you look into his bathroom, it's pretty much the same as the other bathroom. With the exception of like a linen area over here. Uh, with some extra towels and everything uh, that we would need throughout the week. Now, this is a VRBO location. Uh, therefore, we don't have accessibility to the maid service, which is absolutely fine. We like to do our own laundry. We like to take care of our own place. When we're out of town somewhere like this, we take care of the place like it's our own. So this works out for us very, very well. Not to mention you don't have people knocking on the door at 7.30 wanting to clean the room, change the linen, that sort of thing. We already checked out the balcony. We took out the, the kitchen and everything like that. Place looks fantastic. We want to thank VRBO and Brian Butcher, who is our contact with VRBO. They're, we are not sponsored by VRBO, but we just want to give our thanks to them and fantastic accommodations here at Myrtle Beach, o October 2019. We'll catch you guys later in the week with some content of the golf courses, some drone footage if I can figure out how to make it work. And until then, 